A colleague asked me the other day if we can have multi line eye properties because he was looking to control how the text will appear in a title block. So, for example, he wanted a title, say, my first line. This is the text that he wanted, but he wanted to control the, the line feed, the enter. So um, I thought about it, and the only multi-property field is the comments. And I've used comments before for putting uh, revision notes and for putting uh, product specifications on, say, uh, a purchased part like an electric motor. Um, so what I told him is, in this case, to use this dirty trick, which would be to put his uh, text in the comments, where you can actually format it. Where am I? Uh, my third line. And then put a function in the title to call the comments. So, equals looks like a function but the text still displays. Okay. And the text displays correctly. So in this case, he was happy. He didn't want to do anything else with it. But you don't want to lock comments and title with the same value. And sometimes some people use comments for something else. Um, so I thought about it. And the other way that I could think about doing a multi-line text was to have different parameters like say different lines line 1, line 2 of type text and then to do a form where you can edit these parameters so I could have second line summary title <laughs> let me spell it ah it didn't update so now it's updated um, the third option that I chose is a little bit of eye logic that will create three custom eye properties, uh, one for each line of text that I need. If the eye property exists, then in the prompt for text uh, window, it will display the existing text in case you want to just do some minor changes. Um, so here's the code. Uh, so first it tries to get the existing value of the custom i properties. If the value doesn't exist, then it creates the i property. Let's see it running. So it's already giving me the first line text if I just want to change it say I'll say first one so that's first and third three I'm gonna keep it the same. As you can see it's updated and the good thing about this is that I can have it as an external rule which I can trigger from a shared network drive. Give it a try, see how this goes for you.